Up until recent times, actual flying cars have always seemed like an impossible fantasy. But there are real ones invented by geniuses out there. Sit tight as I show you some cars that can actually fly. Klein Vision Air Car. Although the idea of an air car sounds like a far fetched science fiction dream, Klein's Vision is one of the few companies that have achieved this remarkable feat. One thing that makes this car stand out is its ability to transform from a road car to an air vehicle in less than three minutes. It can rapidly switch from driving to flying mode with the push of a button and is capable of traveling on roads like standard vehicles, making it ideal for independent travel or for use as a taxi service. This two-seater air car has a takeoff range of 300 meters and a top speed of 200 kilometers per hour. It is also powered by a 1.6 liter engine with 140 horsepower, which gives it a range of 300 meters and a top speed of 200 kilometers per hour. Blackfly. This Evtol aircraft from Opener is the realization of the idea of creating a user-friendly flying machine. In order for users to carefully pilot the craft into the skies, the aircraft was built with safety technologies installed and equipped with triple modular redundant flying systems, control surfaces and sensors. The aircraft's innovative ballistic parachute system, which includes a feature that automatically lands and goes home, shows how much it cares about safety and ease of use. Its four tractor configuration contra-rotating propellers on each wing are driven by electric motors to avoid flexible propellers from coming into contact with the airframe. Samson Switchblade Imagine driving from your garage straight into the air. That's the uniqueness of the Samson Switchblade, a three-wheeled vehicle specifically designed for this. Once you've gotten to a safe takeoff spot like the airport, the switchblade swings out its wings and the tail extends in under three minutes to let you fly to your next destination. It covers a range of about 200 miles per hour and can go as far as 13,000 feet up in the sky. And when you land, the aircraft transforms back to driving mode and the wings stow away safely to drive you to the final destination. Aeromobile 3.0 the Aeromobile 3.0 is a prototype of a cool and stylish flying car. It is made of high-tech materials, has high-end features, is stylish, and uses energy efficiently. Its body shell, wings, and wheels are constructed from advanced composite materials and features avionics equipment, an autopilot, and an advanced parachute deployment system to create the best flight experience for passenger safety at all times. Aeromobile 3.0 runs at a top speed of 200 km per hour when in flight mode and 160 km per hour in drive mode. Transforming from an aircraft to a car and vice versa takes less than 3 minutes at any time. PAL vs Liberty The PAL 5 is a flying machine that uses the gyroplane principle to create a compact, safe and simple to use flying automobile. It is a two-passenger flying car with a 100 horsepower engine that has a remarkable range of 1,315 kilometers when driven and 4 to 500 kilometers when in flight. In just a few short minutes, you can convert your automobile into a gyroplane that can carry you up to 500 kilometers in the air. When the vehicle is on the ground, the motor that powers the propeller and rotor is switched to power the three-wheeled vehicle, making takeoff and landing easier and safer. It also features a high center of gravity, which allows the propeller to function through the vertical center of gravity to stabilize it in the air. Airbus Pop-Up The Airbus Pop-Up is a new invention and technology for the transportation industry that combines a well-designed body with new cutting-edge technology. The flying vehicle features a capsule-shaped body and combines VTOL air vehicle freedom and speed with the adaptability of a small two-seater regular vehicle to take commuters to their destinations without having to worry about congested highways. The capsule is transformed into a road-ready vehicle by docking with the ground module, which features a carbon fiber chassis and is powered by batteries. When there is traffic, the capsule is readily detachable from the ground module and is carried by a 5 by 44 meter air module that is driven to your next location by eight counter-rotating rotors. Once you arrive at your destination, the capsule's air and ground modules return to specialized recharge stations to await your next trip or the next user. Aeromobile 4.0 
Powered by a hybrid engine, the Aeromobile 4.0 is a completely integrated aircraft that doubles as a fully functioning four-wheeled car that can fly at a top speed of 360 km per hour and drive at a top speed of 160 km per hour on the road. By combining an advanced automotive car structure with aerodynamic functionality, it makes personal transportation a lot easier and more versatile with the choice to use it either for flying or regular driving. In the middle of the vehicle, the power unit is held by a carbon cradle that is also a connection point for the pre-impregnated composite wings. For the best flying experience, each wing has a structure that lets it fold up and control surfaces with flower-shaped flaps. Inside the car, there are advanced safety technologies and features like pyrotechnic seatbelts, dual stage airbags and built-in vehicle recovery ballistics parachutes to avoid crash landings. Terrafugia TFX The Terrafugia TFX is a self-driving four-seater flying car that is powered by an engine and two e-work RIC motors. It can take off and land vertically by extending its retractable wings, which are connected to pusher propellers while a ducted fan in the back lifts it up in the sky. The vehicle can fit in the garage of your home and take off flights or landings could be done autonomously, or the operator can fly it manually. It is powered by two plug-in hybrid 600 horsepower electric motors and a 300 horsepower gas-powered engine. To achieve a flight range of 500 miles with a cruising flight speed of 200 miles per hour without the need to refuel or recharge. For safety, the TFX will be equipped with a backup full vehicle parachute system and would automatically land at the nearest airport if the operator becomes unresponsive. The TFX aircraft is expected to be capable of automatically avoiding air traffic, bad weather and restricted and tower-controlled airspace. Bell Nexus 4EX most of your daily commute is supposed to get better and shorter with the Bell Nexus 4EX Air Taxi. It's a safe and convenient option in its sleek cabin that offers a more comfortable space to relax, work or do other stuff. The taxi is powered by an electric propulsion system that offers a quiet, comfortable ride across the city, saving you time to do other productive things. Weighing 7,000 pounds overall, the aircraft has four ducted propellers, one main wing, tricycle landing gear and one rear rudder. The Nexos 4EX FTOL aircraft can hold five people in total, including the pilot with luggage, and can reach a cruise speed of 150 miles per hour with a range of 60 miles. Ehang 184 The Ehang 184 is a multi-rotor aircraft that has the biggest propeller in the world and is being developed to get over the difficulty of control divergence during autonomous flights. The Ehang 184 essentially functions as an autonomous flying drone that can transport passengers. It can fly steadily from one place to another within the range of its flight and land on its own there. In an emergency, the vehicle can send real-time audio and video feedback to the command center for quick intervention. Terrafugia Transition The Transition is the world's first practical flying car with two seats and wings that can be folded and unfolded in less than a minute. To protect the passenger, Safety features like an airframe parachute, crumple zones, advanced avionics and a rear view camera are built into both the car and the plane. The transition eliminates the worry about hangar storage as it can be stored in your garage for the next trip and takes just 91 octane gas to fuel it up. This flying car will get you to your next destination on time by avoiding traffic or congested areas. When used as a car, the engine power takeoff near the propeller starts an automatic transmission with a variable diameter pulley CVT. This helps the half shafts and drive belts send power to the trailing suspension mounted rear wheels. Maverick Looking at this fly is like watching a dune buggy fly. Well, that's the idea behind the Maverick flying car, which can be used for both fun and more serious activities. As a car alone, the vehicle's performance is pretty impressive, all thanks to its 140 horsepower fuel-injected 16-valve Subaru EJ22 engine that sends it from 0 to 60 miles per hour within 3.9 seconds. The entire Maverick vehicle weighs less than a thousand pounds, with a maximum payload of 330 pounds in the air and can reach speeds of up to 90 miles per hour. The Maverick chute is technically a ram air wing and it uses the central telescoping mast to lift and function as a wing spar when it's time to take off. To reach its top speed of 40 miles per hour, the operator just needs to flip a switch that sends power from the car's engine to a five-bladed propeller located in the trunk. Once the vehicle is in the air, 
Electrical fly-by-wire technology makes it easy for the pilot to control it with a steering wheel. Boeing PAV The Boeing passenger air vehicle, also known as the PAV, is an electronically powered vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that does not require an onboard pilot to take off, land, maintain level flight, or negotiate complex flight paths. The aircraft is being developed in two and four passenger variants with a modular cargo option. It features eight rotors to lift it and a cruise propeller and the onboard propellers are powered by electric motors. The base and part of the landing gear of the passenger air vehicle are made up of two horizontal bars and four struts. These struts provide support for the fuselage of the passenger air vehicle. Vertical Aerospace Vertical Aerospace is a technology intended to change how people commute via flight to make their personal intercity travel more accessible and safe for the environment. The Evtol aircraft is all-electric, providing emission-free air transportation and is powered by renewable energy. Its movement in the air is about 30 times quieter than the equivalent helicopter and burns less energy when compared to standard helicopters. The aircraft features eight propellers to take it to a cruise speed of 241 km per hour and up to a range of 100 miles, enough for your daily travels. With a cabin capacity of one pilot and four passengers, the aircraft should be enough for you and your regular traveling buddies. To protect your passengers, distributed electric propulsion is put in place to provide safety through redundancy for its passengers and or cargo. SkyDrive SD-03 The SkyDrive is a pilotless aircraft that can take off and land on its own. It has a maximum flight length of 5 to 10 minutes and could travel at a cruising speed of around 40 to 50 kilometers per hour. The dimensions of the ship are 4 meters in length, 4 meters in width, and 2 meters in height, which enables it to fit into the space of two parking spaces. The booms that are positioned on each corner of the aircraft are where its electric propellers have been attached. Each boom has two electric propellers, two electric motors, and two sets of rotors that turn in the opposite direction from each other. SkyDrive is designed just so you don't have to deal with traffic jams, road congestion delays, or having to switch trains or buses. Which of these air vehicles do you find the most interesting? And which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below.